Last couple of weeks has been really busy trying to push snow. It's been non-stop. I think we've gotten snow pretty much every single day for the last 10, maybe 12 days. Um, and we've been fighting to keep the roads open, but it's it's gotten to a point where this plow won't push up over the berm. And so even with me trying to, to push the berm back, I just, it's just too much snow and this plow's just not big enough. If I had maybe a dump truck with a, a great big plow on it, I could run down here and really throw this back, push things back, but it's not the case. I think what we're gonna do is run up and see if we can jump in the grader and see if the, the grader would do a better job. Because if I could knock the top foot of this off, if I could cut this berm down a foot or 18 inches, then this plow could run along and windrow that snow over and we could widen this road up. Now, I want to—I want this to be a lot wider. We're only in the middle of January. We've still got February, March. We've still got a lot of snow that's coming our direction. If I don't push this back while I can, I'll, I'll eventually get to a point where there's just too much snow and I haven't pushed it back and I'll be buried. So I've got to take this opportunity on this, this beautiful day to do some cleanup, open up the road, and that way as winter continues on, we get more snow, I'll have room to push it back. So we're gonna, we're gonna work on that and we'll take you along with us.
After taking the grader through and pushing the sides back and then running the truck up and down the road, um, we learned some things. That, that grader is awesome at pushing dirt, but with that blade only being about 18 inches tall, most of the snow just rolls over the blade once it fills up. And if you angle the blade back to sweep the snow back, you, you're not pushing it far enough out. So I think it's gonna take multiple passes of sweeping the sides back and then bring in the truck. Um, the other thing that we're finding is where we've pushed that back, it's gotten crusty and hard. And so pushing the, the, that, that bottom layer back with the truck doesn't work really well. It needs to be make a pass with the grader, then make another pass with the grader, and get down to almost down to the, to the roadway. And then if you could do that on both sides and then just clean up with the truck, I think that's gonna be best. But we'll continue to experiment with this. Now that we've got the grader unstuck and, and we're kind of figuring this out, um, last year I, uh, the way the weather worked out, we didn't get snow until almost towards the end of the year and then we got inundated and it got to a point where I just couldn't push it. And the problem is, is the grader was at the back of the property and the truck had was stuck at the front of the property and we just said let's wait a month and we'll come back and and once we got in here at the excavator and we were able to kind of clean things out and and then um, that was kind of it we were into spring and then on to summer uh, but it's mid-january we've got a lot of winter left and I'm sure there's going to be a lot more snow to push, so we'll we'll keep experimenting. Now the the 85 Ford F250 uh, been a great plow truck. A lot of people asking. Um, I did blow up the transfer case and had a local shop, Burnett Transmission, was able to get in there and swap out that transfer case. If you need any kind of you know transmission issues. Uh, whether it's a transfer case or transmission or whatever, any, anything. Those guys are great. They got me in and out, middle of a snowstorm, basically overnight. Uh, we're able to swap things out and get it done. I can't say enough good about Burnett Transmission. They really took care of us. We would have been in, in big trouble. We had driveways to clean and snow falling, and uh, they really bailed us out. Uh, they were they were quick first, and they were they were more than reasonable with the price. So couldn't be happier about Burnett Transmission. Um, sun's going down. It's getting dark. It's getting cold. Uh, I think we'll 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 call it for this video, and we'll catch you on the next one.